What's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. To my members, welcome back. And to my new members, welcome to the channel. If you haven't been here before, well, welcome to the channel where you get all your Star Wars news. So make sure to hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know on daily content as we're fast approaching 4,000 subscribers as well. Don't forget, I have a membership program and a merch that you definitely want to go check out. Without further ado, let's start the show. Now, season three of The Bad Batch is coming on the 21st of February. We do know that. We've talked about the characters that we're getting so far. We know that we're getting Asajj Ventress. We know we're getting a whole bunch, a whole bunch of characters. We can go into it for days. But one of the things that they need to honor and not reverse it, because there has been some speculation out there. There's some whispers of this character potentially returning, which I hope it doesn't happen. And that is of tech at the end of star wars is the bad batch season two tech heroically gave his life for his team and season three definitely definitely needs to respect that now as great as it would be to see him in season three bringing him back would diminish his sacrifice now tech's quiet way of processing things at times made him seem callous however throughout the show it becomes clear that he cares deeply for those he loves Tech struggles to convey his emotions with words, so he conveys them through action. Now, Tech's death was an act of heartbreaking, pure, sacrificial love. He chooses to die himself rather than see the people he loves most die. Undoing his death would take away from the weight of that for sure. And another reason Tech shouldn't be brought back is that it would feel like plot armor. Tech fell from an incredible height. Not only that, but the cable car was clearly lined up to fall on top of him. If he were to survive, the Bad Batch would have a lot of explaining to do to justify his return. Even if they could justify it, bringing him back would instantly lower the stakes of the show. His death proved that no character is safe, and if he comes back in the Bad Batch Season 3, it will feel like a pointless fake out, and that is something that I hope they really do not do, because I think, like I said in the beginning of this video, they need to honor his death and let it go, because I think this season should be the season where the stakes get even higher. We hear it in the trailer how they are in search, and it's been a long time since they've seen Omega, so that's one of the things that I'm hoping when they do go rescue her there is a sacrifice somebody does lose their life i don't want to just see characters keep on coming back to life more and more no i want the stakes to really be high the way they were in season two because i fell in love with season two for that reason that the stakes were so high there was more emotion there was more attachment in a sense of the characters with omega being older and understanding certain things that she didn't in season one and that's something i have a high respect for and that's why i like this show a lot more and i'm excited to see what they're gonna do with it now that it is the final season and we know that they have to go rescue omega Mega. and we'll talk about that in another video and what i believe is going to happen but for now comment down below let me know what you think do you think tech returns or does he stay dead thank you so much for tuning into today's video guys for more star wars content like this one make sure to hit that subscribe like and notification bell so you're always in the know as we are fast approaching 4,000 subscribers i have a membership program and a merch store you guys know what to do catch you in the comment section